What is up YouTube? Bubbles and Ball Cards back with another video. Uh, this is going to be kind of like part two of the national recap. I will show uh, pickups and uh, share like some of the little promo stuff that we got and uh, go go through all of that with you guys. Um, I'm going to try to keep this kind of short if I can but um, as you see, there's a lot on the table, so uh, bear with me. There, there's a lot of cool pickups. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone who watched the uh, the first recap video um, and liked it, commented, all of that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Again, um, I wanted to put the people first because that's definitely what made this show um, as exciting and wonderful as it was. Um, I did have fun, you know, buying cards or whatever, but the people are 100% what made this show worth going. And uh, so, anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know, like, your favorite pickup that I got. Let me know your thoughts on how I did. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't. I'll go through a little corporate stuff first. We didn't do a whole lot. Um... But we found out Saturday about, well actually I found out Friday evening when I was leaving about the Zero Cool stuff. Uh, you know, those of you that don't know, that's the uh, Luber slash Fanatics company that started up with the V Friends and everything. They were giving away some Dune uh, promo packs. We got a few of those. Um, they were giving away Clerks 3 promo packs. So we got a couple of those, and I'll show you what those cards look like. Uh, these are the Dune cards. It's a lenticular. So a little Dune promo. And then the uh, Clerks is also Jay and Silent Bob. Kind of cool. little lenticular there doing a dance. They were all the same cards in the packs, unfortunately. It wasn't, um, wasn't like a, a mixture of cards in the packs. Uh, but the really popular thing, which I wish we had found out sooner about, um, although it did take up a lot of time from the day, uh, they're really cool. Um, the missus and my daughter love this show, but they were doing Stranger Things promo cards. Um, they are going to be releasing a Stranger Things set. Uh, the, the lady said probably in a month to two months, one to two months, they'll be doing a Stranger Things release. Um... But it was a limited drop, and uh, I found out about it Friday evening. So on Saturday morning, um, when it got opened up for VIP at 9.30, me and the missus went directly over to the booth. She told me to go ahead and walk ahead of her so I could get there quicker. And it was limited to 50 people. So I was actually second from the last spot available in line. So I was able to get in line. Um, you got a little, it, they had a vending machine set up. You could pick a number and then your packs come out. I did a video a live stream of it. Um, funny enough, my pack got hung up, so I had to get two packs out, but then they only let me keep one. So it is what it is. But, um, I was able to get two cards and then later on Saturday, the missus got into the second drop cause they did two drops a day. Uh, limited to 50 people. I believe on Sunday it was actually limited to less people than 50. But um, on Saturday it was two drops, 50, 50 people each drop, one pack each. Um, and the missus got in line for the second one. So we did get four of the cards. Uh, she actually got a duplicate of this one, but she traded for, I believe she said this one, the Mrs. Wheeler. Uh, we would like to build this set. It's a little 18 card set, but... Right now, the cards are selling pretty good, um, pretty high in price. So, going to have to see how that goes, if I can afford to uh, pick them all up. But it's you can see there, it's an 18-card set. The backs are different on them. Um, and we got Argyle, Nancy, Lucas, and Mrs. Wheeler. So, uh, pretty cool thing there. They gave you a ticket while you were in line, so they knew that you were there and one of the 50 people to get through. Um, so there's the ticket. We kept the packs just as a little thing you see there for promotional use. That pack is opened. It's just uh, in there to keep the pack 
in good condition. So that was the promos there. Um, we didn't do a lot of the promo corporate stuff, which probably was um, something that we did miss out on. Probably should have done more. Um, the the tops packs were really popular. Uh, they kept telling people they were out of packs, and then the next day they'd have some more. So I think they were just throttling the amount of packs they were giving out each day. Um, but definitely would have, you know, liked to have taken the opportunity for that in the upper decks, the upper deck packs. Um, but it was, you know, we missed out on that. Um, lesson learned. Next time we know how everything works. Uh, I guess it's part of being a first timer. Um, and so we didn't partake in much of the corporate stuff. It also does, some of the stuff takes up, like, the, the Zero Cool stuff, it took, like, two hours out of the day. So, you know, you, you're sitting there already, the, the weeks are flying by, and, um, you know, it is kind of mentally tough to tell yourself, hey, this is worth spending two hours to do this. Uh, so, you know... Now that we have the experience and everything, maybe next year we can partake in more of the corporate corporate giveaways and promos and that sort of thing, um, because there was a lot of cool stuff. So, All right, next, uh, I mentioned yesterday I got to meet Jay from Mojo, uh, talked to him for a, a bit over in the lobby of Sheraton. Um, he was sitting working on some video stuff, and real good guy, uh, talked to him for a little bit. He gave me one of his stickers, I gave him one of mine. Um, told him the story about in his video, uh, he was like ooing and aahing over a Jordan card that we actually had submitted, and I thought it was funny just like how small the the circle within this cardboard hobby is, because it's funny that card came to us, we sent it in, it wound up uh, being into an owner's hands, I believe it was at the Dallas show, he was at one of the videos, he spotted the card, showed it in his video. It's just crazy how everything is like so big, but yet so small. And uh, so, talk to him, real good, real nice guy. Um, I mentioned these guys in the Roundtable Sports Card Junction. I sat in there at their value boxes for several hours on Friday. Picked up um, a bunch of cool stuff, as you'll see here. And uh, really, really great to work with. They gave me great deals on the cards. Um, I did also show these but uh, Mike baseball collector gave me one of his cards at the meet the the little meetup he signed it there so got the Mike Moynihan uh, autographed card and then of course Victor and his Bowman rookie card so got those all right next stuff um, this is kind of this isn't really pickups but I picked this card up at Chantilly, the Muhammad Ali, and I had mentioned that I had reached out to Andy, our JSA rep, to uh, ask if he could give me an opinion on the autograph, and he came back and told me that it was legit. So while at the show, I went ahead and just made it official and had the guys go through the process to uh, authenticate the card. Um, so authentic, authenticated the Muhammad Ali auto. Um, and then SGC, uh, I had some of the the uh, raw card, the pre-grade service. Um, you know, I offered up to folks if they were going to be at the show by Tuesday or in Atlantic City by Tuesday. But uh, for those interested, these are what the pre-grades look like. Um, they do have one labels for one touches as well. So uh, I gave them the Kill McCarr. It got an 8. The orange uh, Princess Leia got a 10. You can see there, I kind of like this hologram on it with the tuxedo. I think that's really sharp. Um, here is the Darth Vader. It got a 10. So that's really cool. Uh, here is a hitting, Fleer Ultra Hitting Machines Griffey. Got an 8.5. I wanted to see how some of these did. I actually did very, very well. I think there was only two cards here that I thought was a little bit better than what they got. Um, most everything else was spot on or actually better than what I had wrote down. So uh, here's a Bleacher Blaster. Griffey got an 8. In the Cage, Pacific in the Cage. Griffey got a 9. Um, this is Omega Portraits. 
you kind of see there that die cut it got an eight not whole gain got a nine five dial one got a nine from skylox thunder uh, this is a members only um patent leather members only griffey got an eight five had to think for a minute there's another revolution sick die cut there got a nine and then the luke skywalker got a nine five which i figured because the centering is slightly off so pretty happy with those pre-grades um the service was simple i gave them the cards tuesday had them back on wednesday uh, i did have a couple other cards that they did for me um but i moved those at the show one of them was my penny hardaway um uh, what was it uh i can't credentials my penny hardaway credentials had a brain fart all right i'm gonna get into this stuff next so these were gifts for the missus um here's a little santa claus sack attack and i apologize i do not remember or know who gave who what to her i think sean gave her this one but i'm not 100 percent. so if i am wrong i apologize everyone um, but i think this was from sean and i think these were from refractor jones but again i am not 100 percent positive um, I just picked these up off the table down there and I was bad and forgot to ask her whose was from what or what was from who but here's a wild card Emmett Smith this is a Pacific Emmett Smith nice foil there um, this is a touchdown king gold medallion Emmett Smith uh, this is upper deck highlight zone and then a mosaic old school. So um, I know she's always really appreciates the Santas, the Emmets, and that sort of thing, guys. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Next is some pickups she made. Um, she actually got a couple more, but she gave them to folks that she picked up for them. Um, but this is a porcelain Mickey Mantle. So she got that one. This is a hologram of Mickey Mantle. Kind of hard to see there and getting a reflection. I apologize. That's a hologram of Mickey. And then a Chrome 51 Bowman Mickey. And then she actually got a steal on these. She texted me and at first I told her no, you know, don't pick them up because sometimes these like fade real bad in the weather or the ink on these will bleed into the wood. But then after I seen and what she said she could get them for, I was like, well, hell, that's a, a great deal. So she got a, a Sweet Spot Signatures out of 25, Carl Yastrzemski Auto, 23 of 25. It's on a piece of wood. And then she got Sweet Spot Signatures on the baseball, on the leather, uh, Carlton Fisk Auto. She got both of these for 50 bucks. So uh, that might have been one of the best deals of the show for sure. I couldn't believe she said that the, the dealer only wanted 50 for both. So after thinking about it, I was like, you know what? Go ahead and grab them because Fisk and Yaz are two greats. And that was not a bad price. So, all right. I'm going to just kind of try to go through this stuff pretty quickly if possible. I always say that and it never works, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, first up is an absolute stargazing out of 100. This is a uh, Kobe Bryant. I picked this up for JJ on Sunday. I took a picture of it. Uh, thought he might be interested in it. But as a rookie, I did not take down good notes on where it was located. So when I went back Sunday, I knew about the area. So I picked it up for him because um, he did want it but he couldn't find it on Sunday the dealer hadn't set up yet and he left early so um, but anyway picked that up for JJ that is his card all right got two of these these are spider-man 30th anniversary they're kind of like the prisms that uh, James Gillum has with the um, 92 McFarlane arrows, but these are a 30th anniversary set 
So got that one with the big 30th anniversary logo. And then I got this one where Spidey is swinging with a birthday cake to celebrate it. See their 30th anniversary. So those two are really cool. Um, and then from that same dealer, I think I put it in here. Uh, let's see. Should be somewhere. Right here, this one. This was from the same guy. Uh, this was a cool card. I love die cuts. It's the laser blast. Um, but this caught my eye too. So I got these three. I'm not going to remember all of the prices and what I paid, but these three I got together. They were marked $5 a piece. I got them for 12 bucks. So, um, cool cards. This one I absolutely love. I, I love die cut stuff. I think it's so cool that they actually did took the time to make cool cards like that back in the day. But, all right, here is a Carnage um, Power Blast. Here's a Marvel Masterpieces Hulk. Spider-Man Masterpieces Ultra Carnage. Picked up a lot of uh, Venom and Carnage. I really like those. Here's a Venom Hologram. I think I might already have this one, but I didn't know. I picked it up anyway. Uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom from Impel. Here is uh, Spider-Man vs. Venom. Another one. It's like a, almost like a Fleer Metal. See it there. Marvel Masterpiece Spider-Man vs. Venom. Um, this is an acetate card. I don't know if these are supposed to be yellow or if this is yellowed over time, but it's the suspended animation. Um, here is Spider-Man Golden Web. Venom. Another Masterpiece Venom. Another Masterpiece Venom. Alright, so that's all the Marvel stuff. If I seen some that I liked, I picked them up. Again, sticker prices. I left all the stickers on all the stuff just so you could see what stuff was priced at. I did do bigger bulk deals to try to get discounts on stuff. So I did not pay these sticker prices. Um, some dealers did work better than others on giving deals. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but anyway, this was a cool one. Uh, just a little row zero. Dominique Wilkins, you know, 90s insert. Hard, Flair, Hardwood Leader, Shaq. I like Shaq. Uh, Slamming Universe. Some of these Shaqs I might already had, but I picked them up. Uh, scoring Power, Flair Scoring Power. Here's a Hot Numbers Flair. Uh, Stadium Club Power Zone. I didn't pick up a whole bunch of Shaqs. I wish I had grabbed more. Um, honestly didn't see a ton of his Orlando Magic stuff there. Again, they were probably in value boxes. Uh, here's an Elite Cutting Edge. This is Eric Lindros. Numbered out of 2,500. Here's a second year Ultra Scoring Kings of Vechkin. Uh, Monty Gum, Hulk Hogan with Joan Rivers. This is a 1980 uh, Star Wars little quad mini sticker card. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Bruce Buffer. This is Ring Kings. It's numbered out of 500. He's popular in UFC and stuff, so I figured what the heck. And then this is Jonathan Silverman, uh, Fans of the Game, Autograph. So that's kind of the mixed, uh, more oddball type stuff. Um, all right, next I will do football. And just so you guys know, I y'all those that watch the channel know I don't pick up a ton of football. This is all Emmett Smith. I'll go through them in a second. This is all everything that isn't Emmett Smith. So kind of surprised at myself for actually buying this much football. But uh, anyway, all right, Legends of the Game, Troy Aikman, or Legends of the Fall, sorry, numbered out of 10,000. I like this numbered stuff. This is a wild card, but it's promo. Um, I found that out with Refractor Jones. It's a wild card field force promo with a red hot rookie, Jerome Bettis, on the back. Actually, a pretty, uh, looks like a pretty rare card that 
has a little bit of value. Um, here's an absolute iconic ink, Tom Rathman. I grew up as a 49er fan, and he was just somebody you don't see a lot of autographs of, so I was like, what the hell, throw it in there. Um, Chrome Rookie Refractor, Clinton Portis. Ultra Gold Medallion, Tony Romo. Romo stuff sells pretty good. You don't see it everywhere, but Ultra Gold Medallions, another player that was pretty good. Uh, Quantum Leaf. Tony Dorsett, you know, it's not Emmett, but it is a Cowboy, it's numbered out of 1,000, so numbered card, thought this was cool, Jim Brown, Rookie Refractor, uh, this card, I don't think it'll show very well on camera, but awesome looking card, Skybox Premium, Promptown Rookies, Champ Bailey, here is a Donruss Elite, John Elway, numbered out of 2,500, um, a story I'll get into at a later date, but Jerome Bettis is someone I'm surprised I don't have, like, I don't talk about more of. Um, but there's his SP foil rookie. Um, these have become popular, these thousand stripes. I've seen this, not the biggest name in the world, but why, he was popular when he was a rookie. Uh, wild card, thousand stripe, OJ McDuffie. Um, this is a Define the Game, Tony Gonzalez die cut um, out of 1500 T.O. Bowman's best rookie I was trying to find his finest refractor rookie definitely want to start picking up a little bit more T.O. stuff Isaac Bruce another row zero out of 2000 so. Curtis Martin Skybox Rubies those, it's not the numbered rubies though. Uh, Chrome Refractor Rookie Eric Berry. Got two of these and you can see two different prices. So they were from two different sellers. But Gridiron Kings Peyton Manning. Both are numbered out of 5,000. Uh, here's an Elite Peyton Manning numbered out of 2,500. Premium The Bomb or Skybox the, it's the Bomb insert Peyton Manning. Um, certified gold team Peyton Manning numbered out of nine whoops out of 999 um, this is score it's an anniversary parallel 10 years score and it's numbered out of 1989 so anniversary showcase Peyton uh, another Don Russ elite primary colors Peyton numbered out of 975 and then a license to skill Peyton, um, just a die cut insert. So some of the stuff that I really like, like I said, you know, this stuff isn't like big hitter stuff, but it's cool stuff that I like. Here's a press pass trophy case, rookie. Um, here's another one of the anniversaries. It's Peyton and Marshall Falk numbered out of 1989. Here is a Passing the Torch. Uh, it's numbered out of 500. Another die cut. Um, Sunday's Best. Peyton Manning die cut. So, thought that was cool. Crusade. It's numbered out of 1250. Another Gridiron King out of 2500. Uh, picked up two of these. The Rookie Refractor, Johnny Unitas. Um, here's an Elite Fired Up, Ray Lewis, out of 99. Elite, Elite Team has Willis McGahey, Derek Mason, Ray Lewis, numbered out of 400. My Raven stuff, Bowman Chrome, Refractor, Ray Lewis. Um, here is Dan Marino, this is Pay Dirt, Skybox Pay Dirt, cool, hollow there. Um, here's a game plan, Dan Marino. Rookies and Stars, numbered out of 5,000. This was cool. Laser View, Pure Energy. It's kind of tough to see, but got like a little film cell in it. That's like a hologram, but it's the gold. Pure Energy, Gridiron Kings. These are numbered out of 5,000. Uh, this is a score. Um, Red Siege. Dan Marino, here is Canton Bounce Select. These Dufex cards have been becoming more and more popular. 
Uh, this is a promo, I believe. I thought I had a promo in here of one of these, but this is not the promo. This is the actual card, Canton Bound. Um, here is Fleer Metal. This is Platinum Portraits. Awesome. Platinum Portraits are awesome set. This is Zenith. Um, Z Team, this is a promo. Um, here's a Pacific. Just love the Pacific, like with the big refractive backgrounds. Tops, power and see, uh, power and speed. Kind of like that. A little refractory look to it. All right. Here we got Certified Immortals. Um, this one's out of $9.99. Here's an Elite uh, Power Formulas out of $3,500. Donruss uh, Hit List. It's got like a little die cut there. Numbered out of 10000 Passing the Torch from the Elite out of 1500 Another Passing the Torch, different year, um, with Adrian Peterson, and this one is out of 800 um, Here is the Pinnacle. This I think this is the promo. Yeah, this is the promo that I was thinking about. So there's another Pinnacle. Randy Moss, Gridiron Kings. This one's out of 5000 Playoff Momentum, Rookie. Randy Moss, thought that just looked cool with the pigskin, another Gridiron King, 2500, Gridiron Gods, metal card, Moss, this is cool, uh, Eyes of the Game, Stadium Club Chrome, it's Acetate, thought that was pretty cool, um, stati Statistical Standouts, Randy Moss, out of 1250, here's the Platinum Portrait, Steve Young, um, this one is Gold Blaster from Metal, Steve Young. Thought that looked really cool. Elite Steve Young out of 10,000. Stadium Club Chrome Refractor Steve Young. EX Fleet of Foot. And then a, um, what is this one? I think this is Gold Flingers is what they called it. There's another one in here of Jerry Rice. It's called Gold Fingers. So uh, here is Steve Young's Power Surge. Y'all can kind of get a theme of what I like. 90s inserts and just cards that really look nice. Um, this is Don Russ. It's out of 5,000. Jerry Rice. Gridiron King out of 5,000. Different year, Gridiron King out of 2,500. Here's the Gold Fingers, Jerry Rice from Metal. Stadium Club, MVP. It's got like that laser cut out of it, Jerry Rice. Uh, this is, what was this one? This is out of 5,000. It's Collector's Edge Masters. Number out of 5,000. Elite, Etched in Time, Jerry Rice. Out of 49. And then... Rookie and Stars, Touchdown Club, numbered out of 5,000. So that's the miscellaneous football stuff. Um, a lot of cool pickups there. Uh, you know, again, inserts, numbered cards, stuff that just looks cool, rare inserts. Um, that's what I was hunting for when I was sitting and digging in these value boxes. I will say, when I start digging in them and I find boxes that have a lot of cool stuff, I just keep rolling and the, the, the prices stack up a lot. So, all right. Emmett Smith stuff. Uh, you know, the Mrs. Collects Emmett, so I picked up Emmett Smith. But here is a pinnacle. Um, I believe it's the trophy collection there. Um, here's another one. This is a die cut. Real cool there. Absolute, uh, Maximum Impact, SP Authentic. Not all of these are numbered or anything, but uh, Byron Morris, Emmett Smith. This is a Bowman's Best Refractor. This is, I believe, Tops High Tech or Tops Tech, but it's numbered out of 99. Cool looking card there. Uh, Collector's Edge Odyssey Emmett. It's numbered, tough to see it, out of a thousand. 
These, I love these cards. Pacific Paramount Net Fusions. I have the Griffey. Um, but this is cool. It's got like the goalpost with the net behind it. These cards are just so freaking cool. But I've seen one of Emmett. I didn't even know they made them for football. So i seen that one. Pick that up. Um, this is a uh, playoff pigskins hog heaven. This part right here is like leather feel That's a pretty cool one The back is kind of like leather you can see it there um, Pinnacle performers uh, Touchdown club It's numbered out of 5,000 double disguise from Pinnacle Marino and Emmett College ties with uh, Emmett and Fred Taylor from Elite out of 1600 There's another collector's edge. This is a die cut I'll see the theme this one. I, I don't know what this code is on it. Um, I thought it first was a serial number I'm not sure what that is. It's probably something to do with the way collector's edge was back in the day Here's a triple threads out of $4.99. Um, limited legend out of $4.99. Fleer metal. Gotta love metal. Uh, Pinnacle certified. This is the certified team. Very shiny card. Um, Starstruck from Score. And this is the Red Siege. Kind of like that Merino. Here's Upper Deck Pro View. Collector's Edge Odyssey. Another Acetate card. It's numbered out of 3,000. Z Team. Kind of like the Barry Sanders. This is uh, it's also a promo. Um, Tops Sterling. Or finest sterling, that's what it is. Not bad. Gridiron Kings, 2500. Here's another Boma's Best Refractor. Um, here's Emmett Smith. This is a die cut again. It is uh, Pacific. If you guys do not check Pacific cards out, they have some of the coolest stuff. Legends of the Fall. It's numbered out of 10,000. Uh, Donruss Dominators. Out of 5,000. Um, here's a Stark or yeah, Stark West Green. This is a Mystique out of 2500. Elite Gold out of 2000. Scoring Core. A thousand Yard Club. It's a little Chrome. Tops Chrome Record Breaker. A little Mosaic Orange Reactive. Um, all NFL team die cut from upper deck Bowman's best best cuts again cool die cuts um, Here is Super Bowl 50 um, Out of 50 refractor It's pretty cool there uh, Greatest hits leaf rookie and stars greatest hits numbered out of 2500 Ultimate Collection, this is in a Cardinals uniform, but it's a number at Edmonds, so I grabbed it. It's out of 750. Um, Flair Metal, Heavy Metal. Here's Platinum Portrait from Metal. There's another die cut. This is Prime Cut Select. It's out of 1996. You can see right there. Um, another Mystique out of 2500. Here's another, this is Playoff Absolute Acetate Die Cut. And then this is Leaf Grass Roots. And it is out of, well, it's promo out of 5,000. But, all right, so that's all the Emmets. Um, again, just picking up cool cards, inserts, that sort of thing of players we like. All right, next is Barry Bonds. He's somebody that I've been, well, I'll, I'll show those later. I'll do these next. Um, I'll... All right, so on Sunday I picked these up. I thought these were cool. These are the chrome. It's tough to show them, but this is the Clemente run of all of the tops Clemente cards. 
in chromium format. So guy had Clemente, he had Willie Mays. Let's see here all the Mays. And then he had Mickey Mantle. And the thing with the Mantle is he actually had like all of the other, um, like the Mantle Blast homers. It's not just the Mantle uh, base cards, I guess you want to call it. But so I picked up the Mantle, the Maze, and the Clemente. He had those three sets. So I grabbed those on Sunday. I thought those were really cool. All right, get into, these are just like, the. this is Bonds, this is Griffey, these are kind of mixed players, but, all right, here is some Jackie Robinson, this is Sweet Spot Classic, this is out of 1947, see there, serial number Jackie, here's the Stadium Club, this is the orange parallel, Jackie Robinson, I like that photo a lot. Here is a elegance from um, Diamond Kings Baseball. So this is from the Topps Living set. I did not have this card. Really like the look of it. Here is a Dominus Americana Legends, and it is uh, numbered out of 500. This I picked up on Sunday as well. It's from that uh, Platinum Anniversary set. But y'all know I like X Fractors, and it has the 52 design. So Seen that, had to pick it up. <coughs> Here's the Donruss Elite out of 1,000. All right, here is, I thought this was cool, a little Bowman Heritage. See there, celebrating 49 Bowman. It's Mickey Mantle. Here's one, it's like a topped gold. Numbered out of... 2006 Mickey Mantle. Here's the Topps Chrome Refractor Mantle with when he played basketball. It's from the Mantle story. This is like a commemorative um, to the 52 Tops. Um, this is Soaring Star Frank Thomas from 97 Fleer. Hard to see on camera, but it's kind of like the uh, Purple Stars optic design in the background. Really cool. Diamond King's Gold Frank out of 2500. Love this set. Mother Load from Fleer Metal. Awesome set there. Here is a Titanium Cal Ripken from Metal. A gold Medallion Rawhide Cal Ripken. Um, Pacific. Just like the look of it. Looks like Fleer Metal. Um, then Pinnacle of the Naturals. And it's the Starburst. Uh, 51 Bowman Refractor. Obviously Willie Mays. Looking re rookie refractor. Uh, passing the Torch Willie Mays from Elite. Numbered out of 1000. Zenith uh, Epics Willie Mays out of 150. Jeter Diamond Kings. Out of 2,500, this is a cool card. Final answer from Fleer Showcase. Thought that was neat. Um, here's an A-Rod Diamond Kings. Out of 2,500, here's an A-Rod SP. I uh, don't think I have this, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, Tony Gwynn Diamond Kings. Out of 2,500, popular set with basketball, solo of the game. Tony Quinn. Uh, this was a cool one, Upper Deck. It's a piece of a game used baseball, but it had the logo man on it. I thought that was cool. Uh, but it's Jeff Bagwell. Here's a Skybox Rubies, Jeff Bagwell. Again, you know, these sets that are popular and like basketball and stuff, they're just sometimes overlooked in baseball. Here's a Metal Titanium, Vlad Guerrero. And then Stardate. From EX Vlad Guerrero. All right, here is um, Metal Fusion Todd Helton. Here's a Bowman's Best Refractor Todd Helton. White Hot Mike Piazza. Rubies Kurt Schilling. 
Uh, Z Team Epics Ted Williams out of 250. Thought this was cool. A little Diamond King Mini. So it's like T206 size Honest Wagner. Absolute Babe Ruth out of 99. Numbered Babe Ruth card. Diamond Kings Arnie Banks out of 2500. Sammy Sosa out of 2500. Mystique. Uh, state representative. This is Jim Tomei. <coughs> Out of 5,000, excuse me, throat is getting dry. All right, game used Pee Wee Reese, um, Larry Walker, finest refractor, and then a Todd Walker atomic refractor. Wasn't too sure why I put those in there. I think it was something I set aside and they slipped in my stack. I don't know. Uh, Row Zero, Rondell White. Um, this looked like a really clean Mariano Rivera Bowman. I didn't have one. Um, it looked really, really clean, so picked it up. Here is Stitch from the same cloth. Uh, dual Sick Patches in there, but it's Mark Teixeira and Miguel Cabrera out of 99. Those patches are just really sick, so I thought that was cool. Um, here's a Dreamcast from Top's Finest. Another one. It kind of looks like the Dufex, but it's Chipper Jones. Nomar Garcia Para, Bowman's Best Refractor. Uh, passing the Torch. This is Hank Aaron and Andrew Jones out of 500. Thought that was cool. Willie McCovey, Game Used. And then I got three EX credentials I found in value boxes. Edgar Renteria. Matt Williams and Mark Grace. So, and those were all out of 299. They're even lower serial number than the basketball ones because that's the same, like, the, that's what my Penny Hardaway looked like, and it was out of 499. So, just something to think about, you know, sometimes the crossover from sport to sport, um, those sets get forgotten about. All right, next up is Barry Bonds. We got, um, Pure Gold, this is Topps Stadium Club, Pure Gold, Barry Bonds. Diamond Kings Bonds out of 2,500. Um, Rookie and Stars, uh, Cross Training out of 1,000. Here is a Gold Medallion Bonds. Here's a Select, kind of with that Dufex look to it a little bit. Um, Fame game, Flare Ultra, just a cool looking card. Epics, I got a purple and an orange. Um, interestingly enough, neither are numbered. Uh, here is a Donruss Power Alley out of 1500. Here's a Tops with the MVP award. It's actually numbered out of 400. Uh, Donruss Inside View out of 1250. Prime Leather from Flare Ultra. It's a cool card. Split Screen. So this one has uh, Albert Bell and Bonds. Bell has the refractor side. And then here's another one, and Bonds has the refractor side. And then the, there's one that they'd make that both of them would be refractor. I didn't see that one. Um, here is Donner's Armed and Dangerous out of 5,000. Here's another Soaring Star. These look really cool from 97 Fleer. Um, this is Stadium Club uh, Royal, Royal Court. Lord of the Diamonds, Tops Chrome, Refractor. Um, Gold Medallion on Base Leader. Uh, Swing for the Fences. From Pinnacle Performers. Looks really cool. There's another one of those Dreamcast cards. This was a sneaky card. It's off centered. I didn't have one. Um, I figured what the hell I'll pick it up. I didn't un I didn't realize how much they actually go for, even off centered, but Opichi Berry Bonds. Um, hit it here from Pinnacle. Gold Medallion Rawhide. 
There's another one of the split screens. This has bonds as the refractor side. Passing the torch, Willie Mays, Barry Bonds out of 500. There's an Elite Barry Bonds out of 2,500. And then this is Stadium Club Onyx Extreme die cut. thought that was another cool looking card. So there's all the Bonds. And I apologize for how long this is. Um, but as you see, I did have a hell of a time hunting value boxes and just finding cool cards that I like. Um, so, all right. Here is Griffey. Uh, this is Aurora Complete Players. This is out numbered out of... 299 so Aurora complete players stellar season score picked these up yesterday or Sunday dealer had everything on his table 50% uh, or more off so I grabbed all of these um, so these are all the same and then these dominators are the same there's a different year of dominators and then this is score going yard all right here we go so there's an SPX out of 3500 you're gonna see a theme with these a tops tech cool looking acetate refractory look um, power plus ultra there's a flare metal Um, Pinnacle Summit Ballparks out of 8,000. Freeze Frame Don Russ out of 5,000. Um, Flare Focus Focus Pocus. Not numbered. Power Plus Ultra. RBI Kings. Executive producers from Chrome, Refractor, Bonds, and Griffey. Ultra Thunderclap. This is the uh, Leaf, Gold Leaf, out of 2500. Um, EXL Defense. I thought that had a number. Bazooka Comics. It's Griffey and his dad. Thought that was cool. Another Donruss Freeze Frame. Out of 5,000. Um, this is the Leaf Slideshow. Has a little cell in it. Photo cell. Original Baseball's Finest. Top's Finest. The OG Top's Finest. Um, here's P Pinnacle. Hit it here. It has some serial number thing on the back. Wondering if that's his distance of home runs. I'd have to read that more. Um, here's a Hands of Gold. Die cut. Uh, Diamond Day. Diamond Destiny, sorry. Has the little photo up there. Those aren't numbered. Uh, select Tools of the Trade. And it's uh, Griffey and Andrew Jones. Hallbound tops chrome. Here's Ultra Fall Classics. Uh, this is a refractor um, outfield power. Here's Pinnacle Certified, Certified Red. Don Russ, uh, Round Trippers. Couldn't read that. It's out of 5,000. Here's a score summit edition. And that's the nth degree. Um, power cuts from Topps Laser. Hit Machines, such cool cards there. Um, here's another Leaf Gold Stars. It's out of 2,500. Pinnacle Spellbound. 
omens vest. Hitter's Inc. from Pinnacle Summit out of 4,000. Uh, Master Strokes out of 5,000. This is Legion of Boom from EXL. It's not numbered. First Day Issue Stadium Club. This is a cool card here. Um, Aurora on deck laser cuts and it has the Mariners logo cut out of it. I thought this was funny. Um, Sports Illustrated cover and it's Yankee Killer. It's from Fleer. thought that was pretty cool. This card's cool too. It's Topps Finest. It's a refractor. And if you notice, he's in the Mariners uniform. It has the Mariners logo on the back, but across the top it says Chicago White Sox. So everything about the card is Mariners, except for the name on the card where it says White Sox. And it is numbered out of 399. So a numbered Griffey Refractor. Here's another Griffey Refractor. Uh, Leaf Rookie and Stars Home Run Derby out of 2500. State Representatives out of 5000. Here's a Mirror Image Refractor with uh, Ruben Mato. It's the Mystery Refractor, Mystery Finest. Uh, Lord of the Diamonds Chrome Refractor. Awesome card there. Another first day issue. As you see, I didn't, if even if I had the card, like so, some of these in here I already have. Um, I am just picking up Griffey stuff. I really love um, all these numbered cards, you know, especially 90s inserts. Here's Tidal Waves out of 1997. I think they're just super under appreciated, undervalued. Um, and in a time where people are down on like prices and this, you know, this and that, when the dealers, <coughs> excuse me, when the dealers weren't, you know, really wanting to negotiate a whole lot because of the internet issues and everything and all of that, finding this stuff is just really fun and it's, it's stuff I really like. So uh, here's a long ball leader. It's out of 5,000. Here's greatest hits from rookies and stars out of 2500 standing ovations out of 5000 here's an ultra power plus here's a run producer this card has a really bad ding on the bottom but the guy gave me a really good deal on it so I just picked it up I didn't have it again you know find stuff I like this is a cool card, Hot Commodities. I thought that looked really sweet. Uh, Diamond Kings, it's out of 10,000. Here is National Pride from Upper Deck, die cut. Cool card with the American flag in the background there. Here is um, Steel Power. It's out of 5,000. Uh, I didn't notice that when I was looking at the card, but it's got die cuts down there. And that's pretty cool with the lightning bolts. Um, metal, heavy metal. Another metal universe. Another heavy metal. Uh, this is Stadium Club Bats of Brilliance. And then the last one is a Fleer Team Leader die cut. So that's the Griffey pile. Um, again, y'all have seen, and folks ask me at the Chantilly show when I did that video, why I'm buying so many Griffies. I was a huge Griffey fan as a kid. Again, I think 90s inserts, especially the numbered cards, people are just not appreciating like how tough it was to pull that stuff. Everybody today is like, oh, buy a serial number card, buy parallels, yada, yada. Go back to the 90s and look and just see how tough it was to pull some of these numbered cards. It was not easy. So, all right. Next up is, I guess you would say, bigger pickups. Um, this is the 96 Finest Star reprint in chrome form. Um, 
I had seen this card in the case. I asked the guy how much. He told me 200 I asked him if I could see the card. He pulled his phone out, and then he's like, oh, my bad. It's $80, and I didn't even hesitate. I said, sold. Um, so, got this for 80 bucks. I'll take it. Um, the little Star Chrome reprint. Uh, next card. Let's see. Next card I traded for. Uh, this is a sneaky card. Contenders. Rookie ticket auto. Um, Justin Tucker. Obviously, I'm a Ravens fan. And Justin Tucker is... I mean, arguably the greatest kicker ever, still to be determined, but he may finish as the most accurate in history, but he has the longest kick ever, um, dude's just clutch, uh, this is a short print, it's a sneaky card as far as the value goes, um, so I traded for that, um, next is a... 49 Bowman, Larry Doby, and a 2.5. It is off-centered, but otherwise it's a very, very beautiful copy of the 49 Bowman, Larry Doby. Very, very clean copy. Just had some centering issues. Um, next... Jim Brown, National Treasures, it is on card auto. Nice, big, bold autograph. Numbered out of 56. From 07. I did not pay what the price was there. But Jim Brown, 07. National Treasures. He's one like Muhammad Ali um, that I wanted to pick an autograph up of because I feel like he's more important um, in history than just an athlete. Uh, he did much more than just play football. So I wanted to pick his autograph up. And then the last card I actually picked up before the National officially started. I got it from a dealer up there. I worked the deal out on Monday, went up on Tuesday, bought the card. Um, I took it to SGC for the raw card thing. Uh, they said that they couldn't encapsulate it. So they had this weird little designation, um, something about company does not grade this issue or something like that. I, if that, I can't remember exactly what it said. Um, I didn't quite understand and you'll see why. Uh, but I did go ahead and have the card encapsulated um, right there at the show. But it is a 33 Gehrig, or 33 Gaudi Lou Gehrig. Um, they said they couldn't do it because the bottom was cut, which I didn't understand because it actually matches my Babe Ruth. So I, I wasn't quite sure why they wouldn't do this one but anyway um yeah I, I took it over and just paid csg to do the same day i it cost me a 100 bucks because of the value and everything but had it back by that evening um excited to own this it's a very very clean copy of the 33 gehrig Obviously, the bottom is trimmed off, but it does not affect the photo or the back at all. You, I mean, you even still have all the card number and everything, so. Um, yeah, super awesome to, to own that. I, it matches my Ruth. What better combo to have than Gaudi Ruth and Gehrig? So... But that is it, folks. Uh, I know I went longer. I knew this was going to be a long video. That's why I broke everything up. Um, but thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite pickup? Give it a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next video, I'm out.